Uh, whenever a viewer sees something and wonders, what's that? Danny New is on the case. Yeah, this is pretty cool, and it's something that maybe you would see in your neighbor's yard or at your favorite business because it's become quite popular mm. in Denver over the past few years. What's buzzing? Well, if you are driving around a neighborhood or business, like you said, and you see this box with a lot of buzzing, as you said, and you're wondering, what's that? What's in the <laughs> box? What's in the box? <laughs> well, let's see what's Yikes. inside the box. <laughs> let's open this thing up. Please, please don't sting me. Oh, okay, there's bees. Well, yeah. What would you rather find? If the white <laughs> jumpsuits didn't give it away, this is a <laughs> beehive. A fairly new company called Free Range Beehive. So, Brian, you did an In Good Company That's a right. couple they years ago. That's right, they are a former In Good Company. That's mm -hmm. right. Well, they used to do this with businesses that helped them install and maintain their own beehives. But this past year, mm -hmm. they opened up a residential sector. Mm. And beekeepers like Alex here, they will help you set it up, and then they'll visit every few weeks to make sure that the bees are doing okay. She says this one now has 50,000 bees. Did not wow, when they got it. Wow. And here are the perks for why you'd want this. One, you get to keep all the honey. And they harvest it for you because I have oh. no idea yeah. how that works. Uh, the bees pollinate your flowers. Your garden will grow much easier. And, you know, climate change. And if you're wondering uh, if mm -hmm. they will sting you, hmm. here is what homeowner Tracy Lewis had to say. I used to be terrified of bees. And I'm actually allergic. If they sting me, I've got an EpiPen in the house. I should probably have out here with me, but um, I've, I've learned that if you don't bother them, they don't bother you. So I've never been stung. Work right next door to them. I agree with Tracy. However, yeah. not bothering things is not really my strong suit. <laughs> uh, so when beekeeper Alex said I could hold one of the frames in the beehive, Ooh. I felt contractually inclined to say, I guess. Yeah, so you'll just hold the ends there. <sighs> yeah. Hi, bees. Please don't listen to the sound of my voice and keep working. Do not notice me. Please. For the first time in my life, I do not want attention. They're actually backfilling this comb with honey, so you can kind of see it glistening in the light. So that's what is called green honey, so it's not quite ready to be harvested. How many eggs do you say she, she lays? The queen can lay, in the peak season, 1,500 to 2,000 eggs a day. 2,000 eggs a day? Yes. That's a lot of ice chips for her <laughs> husband. Well, she actually doesn't have a husband. She, That's awesome. You know, she only mates once in her life. When you know, you know. 50,000 bees later, and here we are. Amazing. Got a whole colony. Did they use the little puffer thing? The to smoky calm, thing? Oh, yeah, to, calm to calm them, them down? Them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I was so terrified yeah. to hold the beat frame. I took the smoky thing that calms it down with the pheromones. I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. calm down, yeah. guys, calm down, I said, calm yeah. down. What, what they said to do, yeah. right? Don't make a scene. <laughs> Don't make a scene, yeah, just be calm. Danny. Yeah. Calm. It's All fascinating. Right. You know, I, I, I'm, not a, I, I'm not afraid of bees. Uh, Thank but, you, Nicole. Yes, Appreciate but. Those boxes, they don't really look like beehives from right. the outside. I wonder how many people approach them and, and find out. Yeah, don't put your, your dog's uh, I love the little bag saying on the front. Honey, I'm home. Yeah. Honey, I'm home. That's, that's cool. good. Yeah. And it's all, all your right. honey at your home. Well, cool. now you know what's that, what those are. Yes. <laughs>